second to the needle, which stands for National Emerging Infectious Diseases Laboratories at Boston University. So you are very lucky today because you will have the chance to go through some really exciting BSL-4 training. BSL-4 stands for Biosafety Level 4, which is the highest biosafety level. And work at Biosafety Level 4 includes work on Ebola virus, Marburg virus and Lassa virus, so really dangerous viruses, but the work itself is under really safe conditions. Unfortunately, our real BSL-4 lab is not operational right now, but we have a fancy training lab and so we'll use this lab to give you some really nice experience. Now that you donned your scrubs and you taped your socks and your inner gloves, we are ready to go into the BSL-4 lab. Right now we are in the suit room and this is the room where we don our suits. And this guy here next to me is your best friend because it makes sure that you are not exposed to any viruses. The suit here is airtight. In order to get breathing air, you have to connect to these hoses. Right now we are going to do a suit check. So we just blow it up. We seal the vent so that the air cannot escape from the suit. And I'm just waiting for a couple of minutes to make sure that it doesn't collapse. And right now it looks really good. Now we are putting the suit on you. Okay. Before we close the suit completely, we make sure that you are connected to the air. My lab is interested in Ebola virus, one of the most dangerous viruses people know. And what we are uh, interested in is to understand why these viruses are so devastating in humans. So as you know, humans get very, very ill when they get infected with Ebola virus and we really don't understand why this is the case. Now we are going to do a fake Ebola virus infection. So we just simulate to infect cells with Ebola virus. So these are our cells. This is our virus, of course, it's not real. Usually we don't talk if we do the work in the BSL-4 and this is one of the beauties of BSL-4 work. You are really focused to your work. It's just you, your cells and your virus. Ebola virus is kind of a pet to us. We really would like to have it happy. We would like it to infect these cells heavily. We would like the cells to die and produce tons of virus because this is exactly what happens in human patients. And only if we can simulate the situation here in the lab, we can finally come up with countermeasures that will block Ebola virus replication in human cells. We are almost done with our work. So we infected the cells and we put them in the incubator and we will be back tomorrow to have a look at them and hope that they are well infected. But it's not over yet because we have very strict regulations when we get out of the lab to make sure that nothing gets out of the lab except us. So the first step is to take a chemical shower. And, and now please follow me in the chemical shower. <laughs> <laughs> 